Welcome in Buy or Buy Not, the worst YouTube preview channel. Today I have decided to check out what we are actually paying for in the popular drinks that are available in the shops. I have chosen to buy a bottle of Coke, a bottle of Diet Coke and uh, this pink thing. The boiling point of these ingredients is higher than 100 degrees, so we can easily evaporate water. And this is what I did. And now in just a few minutes you can watch the process that took me around 3 hours. As you can see I am in the kitchen. We are going to begin with the pink one, then we are going to do the Diet Coke and then regular Coke. So as you can see we begin with more than 500 milliliters. The boiling process began, it will take another 20 minutes to get it dry. As you can see we are halfway through the process. One hour later we are almost done. The process is complete and see how much left in the beaker. This is what you buy. This is a cheap drink that you can get. The rest is water. This is the whole drink that you buy in the bottle. I will fill it up now with water so you can see that most of the drink, almost 500 ml, is just water, nothing else. Look at yourself. So we've seen how much of the pink drink left. It was around 1% or maybe even less of the ingredients. So this is what you're paying for buying this very stuff. Now we are going to deal with Diet Coke in the very same manner. 500 milliliters of Diet Coke. It's going to take around one hour, so I'm going to let you know when the process is done. As you can see, one fifth of the task is completed. This is Diet Coke. There is only about 200 milliliters of Diet Coke left. The process of evaporating water from Diet Coke is complete. Here you can see the leftovers. It is not much. I am adding warm water to the Diet Coke leftovers. Well, so you have seen how much coke have you actually in Diet Coke. The second product, Diet Coke, is around 1, maybe 2% of ingredients and then the rest is water. Well, and now we are going to deal with um, regular Coke. Now we are trying to boil out water from regular Coke. Um, in about 40 minutes I'll show you the effects. Well, there is around 400 milliliters left. Another 20, maybe 30 minutes. Okay, the coke is boiled out and um, there is around, uh, let's say, 50 to 75 mils left of this black caramel and molten sugar. Okay, so what we are going to do before it solidifies is I'm going to add 500, around 450 ml of water and we are going to refill the original bottle. Well, the smell is different. This one smells the same. 
This one smells the same. The third one, regular coke, there is maybe 7 to 10% of the solid ingredients, the rest is water. And now the taste test. Tastes exactly the same. Tastes a bit different. Well, no, the same. It's shit. And regular Coke. Well, it smells of caramel now. Ah. And it's awful. But this is probably because of sugar that got caramelized. In my less than humble opinion, I'm going to stick to the regular Coke for a very, very simple reason. I don't really think that all these new ingredients that um, are supposed to work as sugar are as tasty or as healthy or unhealthy as a regular sugar. I'm an old-fashioned person. Thanks for watching, remember to thumb up this video and remember to subscribe my channel. The worst channel in the whole YouTube.